foster parent accused of rape, child abuse, and human trafficking says he shouldn't go to jail because of mental disease. That's where we start tonight. I'm Connor Board. And I'm Chase Gallimore. Daniel Spurgeon and his wife Janice were originally facing 700 charges together. Our Renata D. Gregorio reports from the Lauderdale County Courthouse. These are the indictments and criminal complaints for Daniel Spurgeon. You can see there's pages and pages of alleged violence and torture. On Monday, he pleaded not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect to 76 charges. More than 40 counts of aggravated child abuse, multiple counts of rape, sexual torture, sex abuse, sex abuse of a child under 12, sodomy, human trafficking, strangulation. All foster or adopted children of Daniel and Janice Spurgeon. Five of the 11 victims were in the courtroom when Spurgeon's lawyer said he pleaded not guilty by reason of mental disease. Well, it's a standard plea when you're facing a number of charges and the seriousness of the charges. You know, we just got involved in this case, you know, a few months ago and we're exploring what happened. So we want to keep all options on the table for right now. Spurgeon was brought to Florence from Florida, where he and his wife allegedly committed the same crimes. The criminal complaint says one child told police she has scars from being blindfolded and tortured in Spurgeon's basement every day for years. She told police when he gets a hold of a belt, he doesn't stop. So it's terrifying when you're 12 years old and this man is holding this power over you and there's nothing you can do about it. It's like being in prison. His trial is set for October 5th. Putting the Valley first in Florence, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News. Now Spurgeon's lawyer says the trial date could be pushed back because of the number of charges. Janice Spurgeon is currently out on bail.